how you boys in my car ever. Ever. Because they could have had some tip money, though. I, just think I got some ones from when I went to DR for some tip money that was that I left in my truck. They didn't even take that. So they took nothing. Uh, God bless the petty thieves of Atlanta. Uh, and I called my dear bestie, and she was just like, why are you so calm? She was like, you don't sound pissed or you don't sound upset. One, I can't control that. You know what I'm saying? I cannot control somebody breaking into my vehicle. I have no, I didn't know when I stepped in this spot. I was only in there like 20 minutes. And the establishment I was at, by the way, the front door was open. It's broad daylight, so it's traffic coming in and out. Uh, let me roll this back window down on the left side, though, so it doesn't sound like I'm on a helicopter. Um, so I only focus on what I can control. I can't control if somebody want to break into my whip. The beauty of it is I didn't have anything valuable in here. Um, they ain't even take their tip money. They could have got some tip money too for their effort and hard time and risking their lives. And it could have been worse. I could have been in the vehicle when they tried to do it. Um, or I could have caught them in the act and the way my Florida boy is set up. I definitely could have started blessing carry uh, a handgun on a daily. I hope I never have to. You know, yeah. Don't trip over things that you can't control. I didn't, uh, I ain't filed a police report because this is the second time since I've lived in Atlanta. I've been in Atlanta for like 15 years. It happened in broad daylight too, about three years ago. And I called the cops, took the cops forever to come, and they really weren't that helpful. So, uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't file a police report. And then I didn't make an insurance claim because, you know, sometimes when it's a small thing that you could fix yourself, you know, although that's why we have insurance. Sometimes it's best to come out of pocket, save that claim. It's not your fault. In the back joint. Um, but don't trip over small things, man. And then shit like this, it kind of makes me go harder. I ain't gonna lie. I was already, or already. in the process of getting vehicle number two. So if y'all mad at me, you know, in my little Black Panther, y'all gonna be upset when I pop out in the new whip. But don't trip. Over smart. How do you react to it? Go home, I'm gonna shower and uh, shit, relax and enjoy my day. And I'm hoping that this example of being calm and having some poise and not focus on the things that you can't control can like uh, rub off on to our uh, ups and downs and our misfortune. What I do wish it noticed is post-COVID. When you call to get certain things rectified, no one answers the phone. They want you to do everything online, and I hate that. I like human interaction. I want to talk to a representative to get this reconciled. I do not want to, you know, 
that's the most frustrating part. But aside from that, man, life is beautiful. And it's a little aggravating hearing the wind come through my, my truck like this, but we're gonna get that fixed. in here like my computer with all my music on it or my hard drive my energy would be totally not this calm I ain't gonna lie but they didn't take anything and I'm I'm blessed Yeah, gym was lit. I got it in today in the gym. Somebody said, where am I going? Uh, my handgun is only a nine. It's a nine millimeter. Uh, and then at the crib, I got two. Um, got one automatic weapon. 11, 